Now for this last part, we have to calculate the error of our estimate for R, which we found earlier, which by the trapezium rule was 1.150392 and so on, to the actual area. Now to get the actual area, what we need to do is to, well, put an intro here, area R equals, but what we need to do is do the integral of y with respect to x between 0 and pi upon 2. So in other words, we need to integrate from 0 to pi upon 2 our equation up here, 2 sine 2x all over 1 plus cos x. And we integrate that with respect to x. But the thing is, in the previous part, we found out what this integral was. We found out that this was equal to 4 times the natural log of 1 plus cos x and then minus 4 cos x plus a constant of integration. But we can drop that now because we've got limits. So we'll put those limits in going from naught to pi upon 2. So what we need to do now is just substitute our limits in. And if we put pi upon 2 through first of all, we get 4 times the natural log of 1 plus the cos of pi upon 2. And the cos of pi upon 2 is going to be 0. So you've got the natural log of 1. And the natural log of 1 is 0, so that term's going to go out. And when we put pi upon 2 into here, we get the cosine of pi upon 2 which is going to be 0, so that term 0. So for the first part then, we've essentially got 0. I'm going to put 0 in brackets there just to show that I've done that. Then minus, and we put the 0 through now, and the cosine of 0 is 1, so we get the natural log of 1 plus 1, natural log of 2, and then this will be 4 natural log of 2, so we get 4 times the natural log of 2, put 0 into this term, and we get 4 times the cos of 0, which is 1. 4 times 1 is 4, so we get minus 4. All right. So when we work this out, okay, we've got 4 minus 4 times the natural log of 2, 4 minus 4 times the natural log of 2. You can work this out as a decimal on your calculator and if you do that you get 1.2274112 and so on. So when it comes to working out what that error is in the area, let's just come down here, okay? So the error will equal the larger area minus the smaller area. And the larger area has to be the real area, so that's 1.2274112 and so on, minus the estimated area, which was going to be smaller as I pointed out in the first video on this one. Because when we we're doing it by trapeziums, the trapezium wall, it was inside the curve, so we expected a smaller area there. So if you subtract these two values, you end up with 0 0.077, 0 0.1, and so on. And we've got to give this error to two significant figures, so it's going to be 0 0.077 to two significant figures, 2SF. Alright, so I hope that's given you an idea then on that question. Alright.